Hey guys, this is Casey, and in this video we're going to be disassembling and upgrading the P17 Gen 2. Let's talk about it. Starting off, I purchased this laptop for one of my customers. I'm not being paid and I'm not being sponsored for this video. Starting off, we really only need two tools, a standard Phillips screwdriver and something to pry the sides with. It helps to have a SIM removal tool to pop out the SIM card cover. Starting out, it helps to remove the SIM card slot. This is the same as any phone. We're just going to put it here, pop that out, and since I don't have any fingernails, we're going to use this to pull that out. Now this laptop has not been disassembled yet, so this is going to be a fresh live example. So looks like we have just basic screws around here, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then the cover here. So we're just going to undo these real quick. Nothing too special here. Note, most Lenovo screws don't actually come out. It feels like it's grabbing. Yeah. Most will just stay in here. They don't actually come out. And I like to go around the perimeter first, no real reason why. And then over to the middle screws. Now note, a couple of these are going to be the keyboard. And we'll get to that here in a minute. So now that all these are done, standard, we're just going to pop, pop this dude out. So under here is going to be the two... Uh, NVMe expansion slots if you want to add an additional two NVMe drives here and this is generally I don't know why Lenovo does this this is where the first two RAM slots are there's gonna be a stick here pop that out normal nothing special here pull this cover out again don't have fingernails and there's the other stick of RAM I do not know why Lenovo does this probably to make it a little bit more difficult to install your memory for people who don't want to mess with it um, because the other two slots are actually under the keyboard, which you don't need to pop this off. So if you're simply upgrading the SSDs or needing to upgrade two sticks of memory, just do it here. You don't got to do anything else. This part doesn't have to come off. If you have to replace a battery, replace fans, then that's when this bottom part is going to have to come off. Um, so really, these are actually not that hard. I like to start here at the front and just kind of work my way just kind of pry this here, standard little pry thing. Don't know the actual name here. Zoom out here. Just kind of pop this around the side here, and this part is going to start to separate here, as you can see there. And then we're just going to go around around here, and I like to just kind of run this through here and continue to pry and pop this part up that part comes up. Now note there are two more screws here that you have to undo on this side right here. Just unscrew these. This one usually gets people. Um, and then what I like to do, I like to kind of hold the PCB here and, and actually kind of start to pry up there. So already kind of here. And then we're simply going to take this and just work our way around the board. Got that side loose. For such a large, expensive machine, these are actually pretty easy to disassemble. All right, and then, so these tend to stick here. What I like to do, oh, that part actually came off. I like to get my little tool here, get this area right here, and pry up here, and that pop that end off. Um, and then usually, yeah, there's some, there's a, oh, that one just popped off. Usually you'll have to pry around the back side, but fortunately that wasn't too bad. Um, sometimes you just gotta pry around this side to pop these off here. So really this is kind of the main part of the P17 Gen 2. Um, again, here are the two SSD slots we've seen, the two memory slots. Um, Fans, GPU, CPU, heat pipe, battery. Um, you know, that's that's really about it under here. Um, 
to get to the other two slots under the keyboard, we can actually go ahead and do that now, but I'm gonna reassemble this and show you how easy it is. There's no reassembly order. I actually like to go kind of the back side here where the IO is, line them up. And these are literally as simple as pressing around the edge to pop on. And then we're going to screw these back on. I'm just gonna do the perimeter because the keyboard is actually held on by a couple of the screws in the middle. So we're not going to reassemble those. Well, screw those down rather. We're just gonna leave the ones in the middle undone. And for this, it's as simple as going around the perimeter and screwing everything back down. Do note for Lenovo, there generally isn't an issue upgrading memory or SSDs warranty wise. Um, we've always done it at work, never really ran into an issue for warranty. So we're gonna leave this screw undone, this one, this one, and this one. So we're gonna pop this over here. I'm gonna open this part up. Now, generally these just, just kind of shift up. So right there, I, I simply pulled towards the screen and this part of the keyboard came up and we're going to be real careful because there's going to be a ribbon cable under here so we're going to pull this part out towards the touchpad and then kind of accordion out accordion it out here it's that simple and then the additional drive slots are under this which is held on by three screws that do come out so be sure not to drop these inside or you are going to have to do a full disassembly because these can't actually fall through here. So once these three are done, once the three screws are removed, we're just gonna pull this back towards the screen here, and then it should allow us to lift up and remove this. And this is gonna give us access to the other NVMe slot here, which should already be installed. And then the two other sticks of memory. So why Lenovo puts them here, I don't know, but there you go. Once you install your memory and an SSD, if you don't already have one, which I'm sure you do with this machine, we put this back here. And then it is simple as installing in reverse order. And with those three installed, we flip this back over here. And again, if this comes up, if this comes loose, these are really easy to put back. You just flip up this little black thing and then reattach the ribbon cable and press it down. I'm going to push this guy here up towards the screen. This little keyboard is gonna fit under the lip. So once it's under the lip there, as you can see, the keys are touching. Straight back down, push down on the keyboard itself and then push forward. You're going to see this part go flush. So there's no gap there anymore. Just flush, then close the lid, flip this guy back over, and then we screw in the four, we screw in the four screws, these two here, and then don't forget about these two here. That's good, that's good. And then we take this piece, place this back here, press around the side, it's gonna press this down. You're gonna hear some clicks. And then we're going to screw this one back here. Around it, and we're good. I always like to check the perimeter. I like to check this part, make sure all of this is good. There's no cracks, there's no separation. And then we're done. That is a disassembly of a P17 Gen 2. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post below and have a great day.